Hello again, and welcome to Otaku vs. Zero. I am your host, Patrick Macias. And I'm Yu Asakawa. Hi. <laughs> and this is our show uh, that we have updated every week, where we talk about anime, manga, uh, general Japanese pop culture craziness, mm -hmm. and um, occasional subculture. And that's what we're talking about today, specifically with regards mm -hmm. to Harajuku, and with regards to fashion, and a store in particular called 6% Doki Doki, located mm -hmm. in Harajuku. And today we have our in-studio guest, Mr. Sebastian Masuda, the director of 6% Doki Doki. Konnichiwa, Masuda Sebastian desu. Yoroshiku And we're going to have an interview with Sebastian right after our hard-hitting report <laughs> on 6% Doki Doki. Mm. So let's check it out. Okay, we've navigated the mean back streets of Harajuku, and finally we are here at world-famous 6% Doki Doki. Now, you might be wondering what a guy like me is doing at a place like this, and the truth is there's nothing inside I can wear. I would look terrible wearing any of these colors, let alone these sizes, so I'm not going to. But I'm interested in the way that uh, pop culture, junk culture can influence other areas of creativity in Japan, and specifically, uh, Doki Doki is the place where that happens with fashion. And uh, as we see here, we've got the Popples, classic American 80s uh, girls' toys that are now on the kind of uh, motif design for the clothing here, and just these kind of crazy, over-the-top, pastel Barbie colors. Uh, and the store inside is just a riot. It's just crazy to go inside and look, so I'm going in there right now. You can't stop me. Okay, so here we are inside 6% Doki Doki, and already my senses are being assaulted by an array of fruit flavors. Uh, this is the changing room, I think. Yes, it is. And it's very furry and warm and uh, exciting stuff. And here is world-famous shop girl Yuka, who will sell you your accessories with a smile. And um, this, to me, is maybe the most interesting part of 6% Doki Doki. It's kind of uh, the symbols and inspirations behind the fashions that you see here. So you can see there's a lot of just uh, horrible American candy, like tropical dots. There's uh, a box of tricks there. Uh, we've got some toys, like uh, the Popples. I see My Little Pony. Uh, just these bright, harsh, you know, pastel colors uh, that I guess have inspired the, uh, the looks here, which is kind of unusual. Um, and of course, the bread and buddy here at 6% Doki Doki are the accessories. These are some of the hair clips, I guess, that are very popular here at 6% Doki Doki. Here's a, a pin that says Kakume Revolution in Japanese, kind of connecting uh, the current Harajuku scene back to kind of the uh, freewheeling revolutionary spirit of the 60s. And here's the basic philosophy writ very large for you, sensational kawaii. Okay, sensational cuteness, over the top, which is why I like this kind of stuff. And what else do we have here? Just a nice clip that just says Doki Doki. Looks like there's a bow tie with the popples. Do you remember the popples? I almost didn't, and then I came here. Yuka, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
for any occasion, and some groovy musical notes, leggings. <laughs> okay. So, Ika san, anata no item wa chato kyomi aru. Eating wa. Arigato. Arigato in hiragana. And kore wa. Oshaburi desu. Oshaburi. Oh, it's a pacifier? It's like a glass pacifier. Okay. <laughs> Less questions about that, the better. And I have a question. I'd like to see your, your nail art, nail. if possible. Get a load of that. I like that one. Iponichi. It's a very patriotic uh, ring there. The diamond studded flag of Japan. So you. Mm. Hi. What did you think about 6% Doki Doki? I've never been there. But everything is so cute and pretty. And it's like a... Toy house, uh -huh. very doughy, uh -huh. and I think many girls mm -hmm. love that kind of things. I'm, an, I'm an not item? a girl anymore, though. <laughs> You're not a girl <laughs> anymore, really? This is like breaking news here. So Sebastian's here. Hey. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, hit him with some questions here. Mm -hmm. um, what's the meaning behind the name? Why only 6% Doki Doki? Why not 128 mm. or something? この、あの、<笑> まあ、それを転じて普通の人生よりもちょっとドキドキした人生の方が楽しいじゃないかってそういう意味を込めてつけました。え、かわいい。Okay, so um how would you explain the concept behind the store to someone who may not understand right away or? まあ、お店のコンセプトはですね、センセーショナルかわいいって言って、まあ、かわいいよりももっとどう超えてすごいかわいいのってどういうことなんだろうと思って全部の商品を企画してるんですけども、あの、ま、普通の可愛いっていうのはじゃあピンクで本話化したのがみんなが思う可愛いって思うんだったら、それをぶっ飛んで超えるともっと直近のピンクだったり、それが転じてもっと独特しかったり、そういったものをえっと企
世界中にこう波及していくわけですね。で私たちの国でもこういったファッションスタイルをやりたい私たちの国でもこういったおしゃれをしたいっていうことが、うんえー、とムーブメントとして高まっていくわけです。うん、であ、えー、とおしなべてヨーロッパとかアメリカとかってすごくコンサバティブで、うん、でえっ、ー、と。もともとそういった、まあ、ファストファッションのものを大量生産大量消費のように作られたものをこう着てそのまま買って着るしかなかったわけです、うん、でも原宿っていうのはそれを原宿の人たちはそれを買ってでも自分に合わなかったら切ったりあ,、はい、あとは重ね着したり、うん、そういった自由なファッションを楽しもうというスピリッツが原宿にあるわけですね。うんうん、でところで世界に発給した時に僕たちにこういっぱいメールが来るようになったんです。はいでえー、とこういったファッションとかそういったスピリッツを私たちの国に来てどうぞ教えてくださいみたいなことから、うん、あじゃあワールドツアーっていうのをやろうと思って、うんえー、と僕が企画したのは現地の女の子、うん、現地の女の子を集めて僕たちが行って一緒にワークショップしながら一つのファッションショーを作るっていうのを企画したんですね。うん、それはなぜかっていうと文化っていうのはその土地の文化とミックスしない限り根付かないんですね。うん、で僕が考えたっていうのはこれはどういう現象なのかなぜこういった日本こういったカルチャーが日本から来るのかっていうのを全部トークショーで話して解説したわけですね。でそれがすごく受けて、えー、と去年から、えー、今年、えー、原宿を皮切りにロンドンパリ、えー、LA サンフランシスコとこう回って世界各国を回りました。で去年はあとドイツとか他の都市だとまあアメリカで言ったアトランタとかそういったところも行きました。それで今これシアトルのはい、フリーペーパーなんですけど。I thought it was called Buki at first, like weapon, but it's Ibuki. I guess I was thinking b u s o s h o t a n a little too long. So, this lady is that. これがショップガールの。Yeah, that's shop girl Yuka. I actually had a question for you. Where did you find Yuka? How did Yuka become a shop girl? ああ、彼女はですね、まあ、高校生の時に、あの、うちでやってるビジュアルショーっていうファッションショーとちょっと演劇を混ぜたようなショーをやってるんですけども、そこに応募してきたんですね。高校生の時、それで主役になったのが彼女だったんです。はい。I heard she's so popular in overseas. Yeah, whenever she appears, it's kind of like the Pied Piper and like Ronald McDonald or something like that. Everyone just kind of wants to be, be next to her and like get their picture taken with her. And yeah, whenever you guys do a show, like in a city, there's generally a lot of newspaper and media coverage. So,、um, Yuka, yeah, I always am very happy to see her in person and in print. Well, it's almost time to wrap up this week's show. But、um, I have a few more questions for Sebastian before we go.、Um, what are your plans for the future for 6% Doki Doki? What can we look forward to in the future? So, this is the first time in the world of the world of the world of the world of the w o r l the w o r l of the world 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 of えー、収めてますこれがまあ第1弾で原宿の子なんですけども、うん、この後はいろんな各都市の、えー、女の子たちを可愛いアナキーガールを、えー、撮った写真を出していきたいと思います。Okay. I want to be an anarchy girl. You want to be an anarchy girl? <笑> Is there age limit? <笑>年齢制限ありますか年齢制限ないですよ。あの、ないです。I'll try. <笑> can I be an anarchy girl too, Sebastian? You're not a girl. Okay, I'm not a girl. <laughs> All right. Well, you said earlier you're not a girl、oh. either, so I'm very confused here right now. <laughs> one more question. If people、um, who、uh, have watched this segment want to get their hands on some of the items that they've seen, how can they get some 6% Doki Doki items overseas? Ah, eh, to this, eh, MySpace or Facebook, they meet more, I'll be able to get some URL. Hi, I'll be able to get some URL. So, I'll be able to get some URL. Okay. Yeah, thanks for coming. Great. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and、uh, that's it for our show this week. And、um, now is the time for you to do what you do so well, which is to tell everyone the email address where people can send us questions, comments, requests,、uh, stuff like that. So, what is our email address to you? OBZ at, OBZ at KZSTATION.COM. <laughs> that's one more time. OBZ KZSTATION.COM. Okay, thanks for watching. See you, you. next week. Bye. Bye bye.